Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Modded Minecraft 1.7. I am running yet another Ender Quarry. And it was actually somewhat necessary, <laughs> in a way. And this Ender Quarry is running with a Speed 3 upgrade. I don't think it's getting all the power at once because the transceiver is limited to 20k. But since I can output uh, something like 60k, I think, and I'm producing 20, 28,000, or was it 26,000? It's not an issue. So you can see I've got three of these energy pylons, each with one energy conduit connection. I could have three on one pylon. I think that would have worked just as well. But uh, this works too. So I've got a new ore processing setup because a single sag mill and alloy smelter could not keep up. So these pulverizers all have all of the processing speed upgrades in them. And it looks like... Um, uh oh, got a problem with cinnabar. Okay. That should fix the problem, and uh, I probably cut out most of figuring this out. I put this extra chest up here because I accidentally put the filter in the wrong spot, and it was putting a bunch of pulverized dust in here, which I'm going to have to pull out of my storage system later, but I'll worry about that some other time. See, and these guys are just, yeah, they're just full of dust. You need a lot more smelters than you do pulverizers. It's kind of strange how that works. But it processes things at a pretty good speed, as you can see by the amount of items flowing through the pipes. Okay, well, I've wasted a, enough time here. I want to... Move on to the next area, and let's see, do I have the, I do have the Rotary Craft Handbook in here, okay. And let me just organize a little bit. Okay, that should be everything I have an immediate need for, so let's hop on over to the new area. I don't think I've ever shown this on video before. So, I've got a little miniature UFO here. Just kind of a, a little homage to my... Uh, when I was playing the Minecraft pack way back in the day before I was doing YouTube. And I've got a little request table here hooked into my na main network, so that should allow me to request items here and just fall straight out of the UFO. Reminds me of the, of the day I first came to the Earth in, re in reality. I mean, uh, what? Uh, I didn't say anything. So, over here, I've got this little house, and I've got a custom NPC. I need to find, like, a good skin for him. <laughs> Currently, he's a wizard. <laughs> but uh, he's supposed to be a canola farmer. He doesn't really do anything except, say, get off my lawn if I try to talk to him. But he's got a little canola farm over here, which I'm going to try to automate somehow. With probably a robot. A farming station will not farm canola, last I checked. Okay, so I haven't quite decided what I want to do exactly. I was thinking of eventually, like, hollowing out part of this mountain and using that as a space for experimentation. Uh, this episode was kind of poorly planned. Get off my lawn. Crazy kids. Okay, so I was thinking of going into the mountain around here. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to mess with this right now. Let's just mess around with stuff out here or something. Oh, and if you're wondering about the materials of this house, I've got a lot of wood from the Ancient Trees mod. 
and bloodstained bricks for the roof from Railcraft. I think they make a nice texture for like a tiled roof. Good color too. And just got some chiseled cobblestone. I'm actually quite happy with the way this turned out. I think it looks pretty good. Alright, so Rotary Craft. How does this mod work? What does it do? I know it's a, a crazy difficult mod to get stuff done in. And this book is a bit confusing. Let me see if I can remember how it works. So I take the plus. Goes to the next page. Or is that the next category? I think that's that takes you to like the next group of pages or something like that. Yeah. Okay, so the plus and minus go to... Well, it says it's the next page, but then each page has all these tabs, which explains some different things, like how torque works, uh, some stats for different materials, shaft load limits, uh, machine tiers, shows a bunch of different machines, how much power they use, some of them get pretty crazy. What's that? EMP machine, light bridge, <laughs> yeah, crazy sounding stuff. Okay, and let's see, lubricant, that's one thing that I know we need, that's what the canola, canola is for. The weird part of this is that in order to make the lubricant, you need machines from Rotary Craft. Which means you need gearboxes, but you don't have any way to lubricate them. So you would just have to replace the gearbox until you can start making enough lubricant. Which seems kind of odd to me, but whatever. Oh, this also shows that uh, we can convert RF to Rotary Craft Watts. And... Actually sounds like a pretty good conversion. I don't know exactly how you do that though. Okay, so we can interact with open computers and computer craft. That's good. Alright, so now we need a power supply of some kind. DC electric engine, that is the simplest one, but also not very good. Wait, how do I get HSLA steel? I know normally you can find this in a chest. Uh, okay. But since I... Since I've not had this mod installed for long, I guess I'll have to make some. Okay. Well, that blast furnace looks cheap enough to make, so it shouldn't be an issue. I can just make one from here. I guess the UFO is big enough for just beginning experimentation. And that'll be convenient because the request table's right here. Okay, so we need sand. Coal, gunpowder, and a bunch of iron. And what do all these numbers mean? I have no idea. Coal coke from Rotary Craft. How's that different? Shows a different number on the gunpowder and sand. So, I don't know. Let's just get a stack of everything. Okay. Info. Okay, that just opens up the Rotary Craft Manual. Blast Furnace is the main way to make steel. 
simply supply carbon in the form of coal or coke at the left, gunpowder at the bottom left, sand at the top left, and fill any of the middle nine slots with iron ingots, heat the machine to 600 degrees Celsius to start the yellowing process. The machine will operate more efficiently with coke and with more slots full of iron. Okay. The coal is not fuel. An external heat source is required. Oh. So, how do you heat it? Is my next question. I guess one thing that would be easy enough to try would be to just surround it with some lava and see what happens. And if I cut it out, the random blocks in my inventory came for me hollowing out a little bit of a mountain, thinking I would work in there. Okay, I don't have any lava. I, I think I have some lava in a drum somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Okay, it's just uh... See? That might actually be working. Okay. Yeah, that works. So, where to set you up? Yes, just over here. I don't know if more lava helps. It seems to not care about the additional lava. Okay. Alright, well, since this thing will take a while to heat up, and it supposedly operates more efficiently with more more iron in the slots. I might as well fill every slot. Okay, and I'm just gonna wait for this to do its thing. Alright, so I believe I've got all my steel here. So that's nine stacks. Very nice. And it didn't use up any of the sand. It used up a little bit of gunpowder and the entire stack of coal. Okay. Alright, so something else that looks like I'm going to need is this work table. Which, I don't think I could autocraft brick blocks. I don't know why I would add something like that. Is that everything else? There we go. Okay, so here's our work table. I will put it here, I guess. So this is basically just a crafting grid that's used for making machines. Okay, so one thing I'm going to want, I'm pretty sure, is the grinder. I think that's what you use to make the lubricant. Here we go. Stone into cobblestone, cobbled gravel, gravel sand. And used for making lubricants. Okay. So, to run this thing, we need a minimum of 4 kilowatts of power and 128 newton meters of torque. So, how can we get that? So, this little DC electric engine, that doesn't sound very good. I would need at least four of them to get enough power. But even then, that wouldn't be nearly enough torque. Wind turbine. Let's see, four kilowatts, so that would be enough. Uh, but again, not much torque. Okay, so there's some way to convert the ratios of certain things here. I can't remember 
how it works exactly. Okay, it looks like torque times speed is equal to power. So we should be able to, using, I think it's gearbox, reduce the speed and gain torque. So let's see, what's the best engine that I could run right now? That has a pretty good power output steam engine. I know the gasoline, AC electric, performance, hydrokinetic. Uh, I know I can't run any of those right now. I feel like a wind turbine would be best. All right, so I'm going to need, I think it was eight of those propellers. Then one of these hubs, which requires a lot of stuff. Okay, there we go. That took just a minute or two. All oh, right, can't craft that here. Have to actually craft it in the work table. Okay, so we got our wind turbine. And I just realized this is probably going to take forever to set up, especially since I don't have any particular place that I'm planning on putting it. I wonder though, can I like pick this thing up again after I place it? Whoa. It actually just started running right away. Ow. Okay, the blade's hurt. This thing has no particular interface. Okay, so now we're going to need a gearbox of some kind. So, let's see, um... Hmm. What kind do I need exactly? So, the grinder takes... a minimum of 128 newton meters of torque. The wind turbine, I believe, outputs a measly 4. So we're going to need to multiply that by 32 to get to 128. Okay, so I guess that means I would need an 8 to 1 and a 4 to 1 gearbox. Let's see, how expensive are diamond gears? Uh, they're not that bad. I, I, I can afford that. Okay, just make me a bunch of these stinking gears. I don't even care. Okay, so we got our 4x and our 8x. Okay. And these will, of course, take damage over time, so let's not set them up just yet. And go ahead and make the grinder. Wow, I've been recording for such a long time. Okay, so we're going to need two of these saws, which require the gears. Do I have any of those already? I have two. Let's actually make a bunch of these. I'm sure I'm going to need them. Like that. Grinder. There we go. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get this thing set up. Uh, I can access my canola, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. How do you... Is that... Is that how you do it? No, I guess I have those backwards. There we go. It's spinning. Is that good enough for it to work? I don't know. 
Actually, I, I just realized that the output on these gearboxes tends to fall as they take damage, so this may not work quite properly. Oh, darn. Yeah, it's already not getting enough power. Okay, so I'm going to need... Is there like any way to make the lubricant without a machine? No, I'm not seeing any other way to do it. So, I guess sacrificing some gearboxes is pretty much the only way. I'm surprised these things took so much damage so quickly. That's insane. And after many minutes of failure, I finally realized that I need to make a steam engine. Alright, here we go. Steam engine. Please don't fail me as well. Let's see. Oh, this thing requires water. Right. All right. Now let's try putting it down. So what are you gonna do? You gotta heat up, give it a source of heat below it, and water piped into it. Okay. So I would only need a 4x gearbox at the most. So I guess an 8x. Okay. Is this ever? Th is this thing ever gonna start running? Or does it not have any water? This thing is getting water, isn't it? 10. Typical. Okay, so do I have to use like the rotary craft liquid pipe things? Wow, those are huge. Alright, let's try this again, I suppose. Does that work? No. Do you only accept water from one side? Oh. Well, that's a little bit weird. But that is getting water if I do it like that. I don't know if that's actually gonna work being flipped like that, however. Alright, let's try it like that. Oh! It's running. It's not exploding. That's a good change of pace, I suppose. It's working for now. Okay, uh, was it there some kind of lubricant hose or something? Yeah. Okay, so I need planks of some kind for that. There we go, now stop the... Why? Why? <laughs> I don't understand. Why did I add this mod to my pack? Steam turbine, okay, let's see. Water and heat, risk of overheating at 150. Okay. Why I didn't think to look for that other page before, I don't know. Okay, so I've blown up two steam engines so far. Wonderful. Okay, I I'm through with this for now. I will continue messing with it later. I've been recording for way too long. So, as usual, if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to do that on your way out. Leave a like or a dislike if you want to. And I will see you guys in the next video, where hopefully we will be doing a very awesome and over-the-top 